psych? Drop arms. Drop arms. Got it. Drop arms. Got it. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Shoes, as always. Got another top five video for you guys today. I know a lot of people just picked this game up for Christmas, uh, and you're probably overwhelmed at all the videos and all the YouTubers, and Woo! there's so much stuff out there. So I want to make a top five video of two different styles of videos. I want to make a top five for passing plays, which is what this video is going to be. And I'd also like to make a top five for defenses, but you guys got to hit the like button for that. If you guys want to see another top five video with the top five defensive plays that I've put out so far this year, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I mean, this is trending. Based on the fact that we're, you know, the end of the year's coming anyway, uh, we can almost treat this like a New Year's thing. So these are the top five pass plays that I put out this year. These are all going to be plays that pretty much hit a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game. Other than that, the formation is the wing flex. The PAY cross especially is a one play touchdown against every single defense in the game. And that's going to be the uh, the play that we start off with. We're going to start off picking Tampa 2 and we're going to work our way back. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel, at the same time all i have to do is check them out link in the description below and use discount code money to get three percent off what's always the cheapest coins on the market one of the best things about this play is there's not a lot of setup you just have to put the a route on a five yard out that's it that's all i gotta do everything else is already set up you can block your running back if you want to although i like to leave him there as a check down i want to slide my protection because these check and releases a lot of times kind of mess everything up but you're going to see right here i mean this guy here once he gets inside of the safety he's pretty much just gone for an easy one play touchdown like you can see right there i kind of got my shoestrings caught up don't we'll do that one more time like i said we're keeping tyron lit up just to show you guys that it don't matter and we're going right over the top like i said he's best safety in the game lit up you know he's going to keep up a little bit better than most now the out route's probably most important when it comes to cover three but you could also put him on a delay fade the delay fade i find works even better just as long as that a route doesn't get out of his break too early you're going to see you get much bigger separation with the delay fade so the five yard out route is one variation the delay fade is another that's also going to be the variation that works against cover two man so it's pretty much the same idea but we'll pick cover two man when it comes to running this play and running the delay fade you want your slowest guy running that i don't want andrews running that because he's kind of fast he'll get up the field too quick and he'll essentially um you know, basically get to the point where, where that uh, that safety is getting pulled back. I want him to basically play down. So the slower, the better. The delay fade stays home just for a second. And then you can see once he starts getting up the field, I'm already past it with, uh, with the, you know, with Brown. Now that was actually, like I said, that was, that was the type of reaction that I didn't want. In the substitutions, I'd rather switch Nick Boyle and Andrews out. But you can run it like this too, where essentially you just basically let Boyle, um, you know, slow that safety down. Because that's what's keeping that safety down, is that delay fade. That delayed reaction is is what's keeping that safety down and letting Brown get over the top of it. So I'm going to do that one more time. I guess I'll slide my protection, let that slow tight end be the bait. And then, like I said, boom, we're just getting a huge one play touchdown right over the top very easily against pretty much any defense in the game. So now we'll do that against cover three, because this is the one that's probably, you know, giving people most issues right now is cover three. And this is the same way, the delay fade or the five yard out. It's really up to you. I'll go with the delay fade. Like I said, that'll hold that cornerback down. And then, for whatever reason, that cornerback never flips his hip, and you can see he gets right past him. So, once again, you can do it both ways. I'll show it with the five-yard out. I said the five-yard out works also because the five-yard out really is just meant to pull that cornerback ac across. And then, obviously, I'm going to roll in the direction of the throw, and if you got a fast enough wide out, he gets behind it as well once again. So, it's really up to you. Delay fade or five-yard out. Now, obviously, against man cover one or man zero, I don't really have to do anything. Like, the A route here, he just totally whiffed. Like, that's a really good, uh, you know, man coverage route. I don't want to get rid of that. And then you can see, obviously, you know, the B route here 
is just going to be as long as I get a good enough pass lead away from the safety. I mean, that's going to be very easy. One play touchdown against cover one. Same thing with man zero. I mean, any all out man blitz is going to have the same success. I just have to basically make enough blocking uh, by blocking the running back, maybe blocking the RB route. If it's a man zero, I don't want to get rid of the A route or the B route because they're going to be the big plays. But there's a lot of different things you can do against man coverages. Against cover four quarters, it doesn't need any adjustments either. I'm just going to win the day just as long as this B right here doesn't get jammed up too much. As you can see, he just gets behind the uh, the safety. Although there, the pressure is the biggest issue. Like I said, once again, I can take away my, my check and release. Just give myself a little additional blocking because the B route here is just going to, uh, you know, that's that's the only route. So, you know, very easy one-play touchdown against cover four with no adjustments. And then we pretty much hit up every single defense other than regular cover four. So we'll go and do that. Regular cover four drop contain. We do that five yard out route adjustment one more time. Like I said, that's just gonna keep these uh, corners and safeties down nice and low. And then we're just gonna bomb it up over the top. As you can see right there, the safety's just out of position. Lit up, doesn't matter. The formation itself is the single back deuce close. And then the PEX post cross was like I said, it's a one play touchdown against every defense in the game. So let's go and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're gonna start off with cover two like we always do and work our way back. So one of the best things about this formation was that you don't have any real tells. The formation's even, your opponent's never gonna know which way the play's going. So even if they try to user one of these routes, which are gonna be the explosive route, they might not even guess which one's the right one because there's really two different routes to two different things. The B route's gonna be a really good check down against just about any defense, but ultimately we're gonna hit a one play touchdown against just about everything. Everything! Everything. Uh, with a very similar setup. We just have to put one of these tight ends on either a streak or a fade, depending on what we're looking at. Now here we have a cover two, so I have to put the delay fade on the A route. That's pretty much all I have to do. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have one of your slowest tight ends out here as we get a very Ooh. bad pass, but you can see he got over the top of the safety. Let's go and let's do that again. You can flip this play, by the way, and it's there's no tell involved. So if I wanna go ahead, like I typically want my slower tight end running this delay fade, but if I just flip the entire formation, since it's even, there's no real animation, nothing moves, nothing changes. So you can easily flip this play, which is one of the cooler things about it. But ultimately this B route here, I mean, Sammy Watkins is not as fast as Hollywood Brown, but you can see how you can flip that play up. If he's, if your opponent's basically, you know, staying to one side, trying to wait for that receiver or wait for that route, you just flip the play and you can have the exact same effect. You definitely want your fastest receiver running this route and you want your slowest tight end running that delay fade. Uh, that's going to be one of the things that makes this play work. But like I said, it works regardless, even with Sammy Watkins, who's not the, you know, he's a fast enough receiver. But you can see, I mean, if I just want to flip the play and run it the opposite way, it's, there's no talent involved. It's an easy one play touchdown. So let's go and let's pick that play again on the defensive side. We're just going to go with cover two man this time. When it comes to cover two man, you're going to want to drop these safeties back. So putting the wire out on the streak makes the most sense. And then the running back itself. Um, I just want to put on a pass block. So I'm going to slide my protection because I'm going to roll in the direction of the A route, or at least try. And then you can see here, once again, we have, because that safety is pulled back, I, mean, I get passed once again. Not, I mean, the, the, the blocking wasn't really there. To me, the double delay fades is really the issue when it comes to this play um, against cover two because they really mess up the blocking. But, you know, if you have a mobile quarterback, you can basically just roll out and, you know, make the play that way, which is pretty much depending on. Doing it from the pocket's a little bit harder. And then next up, we'll do cover three, although we'll switch it up. We'll go to nickel. We'll give the defense a little bit of an advantage here. So against a defense like cover three, it's really better just to put the B route on a five yard out and streak the Y route. Then I can slide my protection, I can roll in the direction, I have an extra blocker. All these things are a better uh, setup as far as blocking, even if they're not as glitchy when it comes to uh, what I'm trying to do. But you can see, we get over the top of that cornerback, it's not as big of a window. The delay fade makes it a bigger window. But like I said, it's really up to you. The delay fades, the double delay fade, it really works well. I'll put my B route on the five yard out once again. Uh, it really works well, but like I said, it really hurts you as far as blocking. So it's like if you don't have a mobile quarterback, it's going to be a bigger issue anyway. And you can see, I mean, we still get past that. So it's really up to you. There's two different ways to do this. Against cover three, you have to be aware of where you run it from the hash mark as well. Same thing goes with cover four. Cover four, you have to run it from a certain hash mark too. So let's pick that. Against cover three, you have to run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field. But against cover four, you have to run it to the short side. Once again, we're just going to put that Y route on a streak. Although realistically, you don't even have to do that. Against cover four, this play here pretty much one plays it without any adjustments and you can see how it's getting right past the safety 
you there uh, because of that uh, that deep crossing route. There's a couple different things you can do. I mean, you can make this even better if you put him on a uh, on a drag. I think that that will bring that safety down even more. Uh, but you can see here now it's going to be more of an outside play. But you can see he still kind of runs right past him. So there's a couple different ways you could do this play as well. But you have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field. But ultimately, this is going to be a cover for one play touchdown with no adjustment. So I think the drag is best. That definitely brings it down right here once again. Now we have Matthew lit up. Just bullet pass lead past him. And you can see he's just running right through. Uh, his zone areas you really can't catch up you can't turn around and make play and then against cover four quarters which is cover four match cover four quarters has to be the most unique for whatever reason they they follow this route they lead this route like if i run this like this you're gonna see how the safety of this cornerback both of them really just lead that receiver i mean that's something that had to be patched but ultimately you can change this anyway by just simply motioning this receiver out and then putting both tight ends on comeback routes on 10 yard comeback routes although i accidentally did it with the b route too but that's fine it doesn't really matter those 10 yard comeback routes will get the job done and then you'll see once again this uh cornerback will fall behind the receiver the offensive formation is out of the pistol trips now this formation i don't know if it's in a lot of different playbooks i think it might be in the pistol formation but the play i'm going to show you guys today is only in the build and that pass plays the pax dagger on the defensive side we're gonna start off with tampa two like we always do and work our way back now one of the things i like about this play the most is a lot of times you don't have to make any adjustments like against cover two here you could run this as is no adjustments and this y route here if your receiver is fast enough, if you have a speed advantage, can get over the top of the safety. Now, that's not something you're always going to want to do. Obviously, the adjustments will make it better. But we can do a lot better to get that uh, that that route open. So let's streak the B route, put the X route on a slant. That's all you got to do. And now watch how this Y route gets wide open with nobody even close to him. As you can see right here, I mean, this is just going by 5 to 10 yards. That wasn't even the most separation I've seen. I mean, that play, however that's play set up, it's just a really easy one-play touchdown. We'll go and do that again. I said that's that was actually a pretty decent coverage if i roll in the direction of tyron matthew and stuff like that i mean look at this if i throw this ball with a little bit better timing i mean he's just way off and this this guy's gone by about five to ten yards so super glitching against cover two zone it can have that same effect against cover two man as well but this definitely isn't the best cover two man play it's a better play in this formation like i said hit the like button if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this passing scheme but let's pick cover two man against cover two man i mean you can have a similar effect only you have to motion this guy across for whatever reason. I have streaked the X route this time. Now we motion this receiver across, and you're going to see how this Y route gets right past the safety one more time. So we're going to utilize a lot of motions with the receivers that we're not using, but you're going to see how that can get you a little more separation. So you got to read the defense a little bit. You can make that adjustment with this receiver as well. As you're going to see, but we're going to do that same motion snap. Motion him across. Get that X route going outside there. And then, like I said, you can see that this safety just bites low for whatever reason. So it really doesn't matter what receiver you motion across. They'll both beat man coverage also. <laughs> so that's the thing. I'm in cover two zone right now. If I motion across the, uh, the the X route, though, it's a little bit better of a man beater to the short side. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that motion snap one more time. Like I said, that route will get open. And the Y route obviously gets open even better over the top. Although there, it was a little bit closer. So, like I said, you need a speed advantage. Uh, but you can see how you can get a one-play touchdown against cover two here as well. Next up, we got cover three. And we're going to go, we're going to pick cover three sky. Same thing here. We're just going to motion this guy across. Although, you have to put the B route on a, st a streaker, a uh, fade. I think the fade works a little bit better. But the most important part is motioning across the X route. And you're going to see how this guy here gets across. Just as long as he doesn't get jammed up too much because he did there. But you can see the cornerback was nowhere near. The cornerback was all the way at the bottom of the screen. I'll go. I'll do it one more time. But watch the cornerback over the 10-yard uh, the out route. He is so far gone. Uh, out of the play compared to normal cover threes and this isn't like some cover three plays you got to run from a hash mark you can run this from anywhere and you're gonna have success watch how this receiver drops or that cornerback drops to that to that um that underneath route i mean there's just nothing over here that's one of the most explosive plays against cover two and cover three in the game right now also is a very big play against cover four we'll start off with cover four quarters and we'll do cover four drop next and we got pretty much the same exact setup as we're just going to motion this guy across once again that's all we have to do we're going to motion this guy across let him get set and we're going to have the exact same success to the exact same route so wire out one more time like i said i'm just waiting for him to cross he's already gone though i mean he was just he just ran right past his assignment 
as you can see, I mean, that's just another explosive one point touchdown. Like I said, this is one of the most explosive and glitchiest plays in the game. Just watch what happens here. I mean, this motion that guy across, it just gets him out of position. I don't know how else to say it. If you don't motion that guy across, he actually gets covered really well. So there's something about this formation and making that motion is really what makes this play successful against most defenses. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I mean, it should have success the same way. If you have a, enough of a speed advantage, the Y route will get open at some point. But you can see, I mean, the coverage is tight. Nope. That, that safety does a much better job for some reason than the cornerback. Just simply motioning that guy across, I don't know what it is. It just messes with the with the AI, whether it's cover two, cover three, cover four, which you're seeing now. Motioning this guy across, running this formation, I'm not sure what it is, but that wire out there, it just breaks every single defense as he's already gone. I don't even have to wait very long. I mean, he just runs right past that cornerback for a very explosive one-play touchdown against pretty much every defense we've hit so far. And that includes, of course, cover four zone, cover four drop zone, which we'll have to go, we'll go to the dollar formation to find. Now, this play here is the most unique. You can hit a home run against this defense, but I don't recommend it. There's much better one-play touchdowns against cover four. Uh, this one's great against cover two, cover three, all the man coverage. We've shown all the, the defenses it's great against. Cover four drop is not necessarily one of them, but you can still hit a one-play touchdown. You have to make the exact same motion across. You put the X route on a drag this time, and you're going to see how you can have that success. So we're going to do that. This is pretty much the only thing you have to do. That B route does a pretty good job of holding that safety down. You can see if you have a big enough speed advantage, you can get past past that safety, but if you don't have that much of a speed advantage, you're not going to get it done. So this is something that you can do, but like I said, there's better cover for one-play touchdowns in the game than this if you have it in your playbook. Uh, but there's not a lot that's, that much, that's this much better against all the other zone coverages. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, short side bomb, run from the hash mark to the open side of the field. And you're going to see how this Y route here, I mean, this, this route here, he just reacts to that B route. And like I said, it's a slim margin. You can get past it, but you need an elite speed receiver. I wouldn't necessarily try it in Mutt either against cover four drop. That's pretty much every defense, but let's go ahead and let's do some man coverages because we haven't done man cover one. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Obviously, man cover one, man zero is going to react the same, but let's pick cover one robber. Just like cover two on this play, you don't really have to make any adjustments. I would still do that motion just because we've been doing it so much. Uh, you can put that B route on a uh, streak, but the B route's a really good man beater as well. So there's no real reason to take that away. And now you can see the Y route is still going to be a one-play touchdown, although I almost didn't make, I almost didn't run under that ball in time. But obviously, cover one man is going to be one of the easiest ones. So without a doubt, this defense here, it home runs every single zone, every single man. Uh, you need to know what you're running a lot of times so you can make the right adjustments. But ultimately, this play is one of the most explosive plays in the game. The formation itself is the Gun Bunch TE. The play play itself that I'm going to be focused on most of the time when it comes to this particular video is going to be the PA boot over. Down the defensive side, we usually, like I said, I'm focusing on cover three. We're going to start off with cover two. Now, as far as this play goes, pre-patch, all I ever really did was put the A route on a streak. Now, you can see they messed up the last patch. I think the October patch, they messed up how this streak works. But this is still a good play. I mean, you can run it like this, and you can see these crossing receivers. You can still get, like, really nice gains. Uh, typically, that receiver is going to be your biggest play. Uh, but ultimately, why do that when you can score one-play touchdown? You can do this. Like I said, this is something where I still highly recommend it. But I can score a one-play touchdown against just about any single defense in the game now just by putting this A route on a fade. The cover three setup is going to be different, and a couple of there'll be different setups with a couple of different plays. But ultimately, this is the most prominent one. Now, the only other thing I would say is you want to slide your protection to the right. But watch what happens with this cover three or cover two safety now because of this delay fade. You can see right here the safety just reacts way too harshly to that to that cover two or to that delay fade, which is something that I think they were trying to patch. The only thing they really fix when it comes to the delay fade is you don't no longer have any control over when it releases. But that didn't really solve the issue. Like it still is really glitching when it comes to pulling safeties down which is something that really didn't get fixed. So as long as that corner or that tight end doesn't get back quick enough, you can see how this guy can get right over the top against just about any safety in the game. They tried to pass the delay fade, but all they really did was make it release on its own timing. Uh, which it still, you know, has the same effect. It still pulls safeties down, which is why, uh, as you can see right here, that safety is going to react to this, uh, to this, you know, the delay fade, and that's why I get over the top of them with a fast enough receiver. Now that was a little bit closer than I would like. Like I said, it really depends. This can be a little bit hit or miss as far as uh, when that safety or when that delay fade releases. Like right here, he didn't release at all. So you can see I'm going to get much more separation. But it's something that can be an easy one-play touchdown against any cover two. And that includes cover two man. So let's go and let's pick that. It's going to have the exact same effect 
Although here, that guy, that rusher just got, came in straight away. And then you can see here, like I said, I just have to bomb it up over the top. As we get a pretty tight window. Like I said, that's the thing. I mean, I'm going against the best safety in the game. But I'm going to do that one more time. Like I said, I like to slide my protection. If he's on that delay fade and he gets out early like he does here, that's not necessarily good for me. But you can see it's still a very easy one play touch and that gets over the top. The number one safety in the game, Tyron Matthew, can't do nothing for it. Now against cover three, it's a little bit different. There's a little bit more of a setup to it. Now when it comes to cover three, it's a very different setup. I'd say cover three and cover one, you're going to want to do it this way. All you're going to want to do is put the wire out here on a fade. I'll slide my protection one more time. You're going to see how these short routes pull this cornerback down and apart. And then you can see he's just going to get right over the top uh, for a very easy one play touchdown. Although I had to throw that on the run. The delay fades have a little bit of an issue when it comes to pass pro. Um, I could also block my run back. I don't really need him doing that. Uh, but I do like how it kind of pulls me in a direction, like in like a sprinting direction across. Because I like to get out there anyway. And then you can see, like I said, very easy one play touchdown against cover three. And also cover one man. Against cover one man, I'd run it the same way. But you don't really need to do anything against man coverage. You could just leave it as is. Man zero cover one man i would say they both have the same effect but i like that streak pulling that safety back and then you can see it just makes it a lot easier to get across the formation so cover zero cover one man that'd be the same setup as cover three now when it comes to a defense like cover four quarters i don't think you need any adjustments at all so ultimately if somebody's running cover four quarters you're just gonna i mean the y route's right there already i, I gotta take that y route right away but you can see the x route's gonna be a home run one play touchdown that's gonna be the easiest one so if you can buy a little time both of those routes are going to be open against cover four quarters. Now, the only real difference is going to be cover four. So, cover four drop, let's go and let's pick that. Got to go to the dollar formation for that. But cover four drop contain is going to be a little bit different. The only real difference when it comes to cover four uh, drop contain or cover four where it's not matching is you have to run it to the short side of the field. So, I'm going to run from the hash mark to the short side, do the exact same setup as the cover three play. And you're going to see that for whatever reason, this just has a much more you know, effective rate when it comes to beating uh, the cover four cornerback. As you can see, you know, I just basically have to wait until he's parallel with that strong safety and then bullet and pass lead away. So I'm gonna do that one more time. I can block my running back. I don't really need him doing that, but the play action, I do find like the play action is helpful. So I'm gonna do that one more time. Like I said, just fade this Y route. Basically gotta buy time. Wait for this X route here to cross. There you can see actually got past them, which sometimes will happen. I think the play action helps when it comes to bringing those, those cover four safeties in. The formation itself is the wing stack. Now we're gonna start off with the PA4 because this is probably the most explosive and most versatile. Uh, we're gonna pick that. On the defensive side, we're going to match uh, with cover two. We're gonna start off with Tampa two and work our way back like we always do. Now this is a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses. Uh, cover two is probably the most surprising because you would think that based off of this play that the safety would pick it up, but they don't. All you have to do, put the B route on a streak and that's gonna make this a very glitchy play against a lot of different defenses. Now you're gonna see here, I gotta roll out a little bit, but this X route here is just gonna get right over the top of the safety. This is a easy 50 yard, 60 yard bomb. So we'll go and run that again. We got Tyron Matthew lit up just to show that it will not make a difference. There's a couple of adjustments you can make on this play as well. Number one, you can take the running back away. He doesn't really do anything. And against cover two, you can run it as is. You could leave that B route for a possible check down, although it doesn't really help to be honest with you. But that's something that you can do if you need to. This play works regardless without that streak or with that streak, but it's just best to have it on a streak based off the fact that you need that streak and all the other variations. So if you think it's a cover two and you guess wrong, then obviously it would have been better just to streak it so the play still works. So that's pretty much all you have to do you just got to buy a little bit of time they like said tyron matthew lit up doesn't matter it's still a very easy one play touchdown he just runs right past him for an easy score from just about anywhere on the field so really good play against cover two how about cover three um, I don't think this is the best cover three one play touchdown I'm going to show today, but it's still a really good one. So we'll pick cover three sky. So exact same setup. All you have to do is put this B route on the street. The only real difference is you probably want to run it from a hash mark. You don't have to, but it definitely helps to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. You uh, you also have this, I mean, against cover three, you got this check down here too, by the way. Cover three, cover four. It's not going to work too great from the hash mark, obviously. You can see I run out of bounds, but that's something that you're going to want to keep in mind. As far as this play goes, though, the RB route is going to create the same issue for that cornerback that he did for the safety where now the cornerback is going to react to basically nothing and follow that guy across which is going to make this a very easy one play touchdown for me on the other side of the field now you can see right here might have to move the ball back a little bit as you can see we barely got into the end zone here uh, but you can see i mean i don't know maybe he didn't catch it so we are going to move the ball back so I'm going to do this one more time this is a 60 yard bomb man you're going to need to uh to be you know you're going to want to roll out 
shorten this throw and you're going to want to run this from the uh, the open side of the field and give yourself as much space as possible when it comes to running this play as you can see right there we, we get that one play touchdown play also beats cover four and when i say cover four i mean cover four drop contain uh beats it very differently than most cover four one play touchdowns so we're going to pick that next so same setup just hit that streak that's all you really have to do i cancel my play action i got my you know my check down there but uh, you just basically have to wait for him to get to a point where he's he's even with uh, with Tyre Matthew. And then I didn't really get the best throw there, but you can see he just still gets inside for a very easy one-play touchdown. I do that one more time. We're running it from the short side this time. I feel that that helps when it comes to this receiver getting across. Uh, and I also feel that it helps with him getting the separation. So just remember, the cover three one-play touchdown is best to run from the open side of the field. The cover four is best to run from the shallow side. This play is also very good against man coverage, but we're going to focus on man cover one. Uh, because this is obviously going to be one of the best plays when it comes to scoring a one-play touchdown. Now, I find that this play has some really good man beaters like the tight end and the B route especially. This B route here is a very good man beater. As you can see, it's going to get outside of that pretty much every single time against any man coverage. But why would I go there when I could just hit a home run? So let's go and let's do that exact same setup. Nothing really changes. Uh, the tight end's a decent check down too, but you can see right here, this X route is just gone again uh, against another different coverage. So we've home run just about every single defense in the game with this exact same route. And cover two man is no different. Exact same play, exact same setup. We are now going to home run cover two man as well. Exact same play, just streak this B route, although realistically you don't have to. It's just like cover two zone. You don't have to follow. You don't have to do that. You can basically just leave him on that out route check down. And then this X route here is just going to get behind him once again. As you can see, we're just getting over the top of the cover two safety because of the same principles that we applied before. So to recap, the PA fork, we've home run just about every single defense in the game. Cover two zone cover three zone cover four zone uh man coverages every man coverage in the game has been a home run we haven't done cover four quarters so let's go and let's do that let's find ourselves a cover four quarters slash cover four palms let's see if it has the exact same result no adjustments needed this time and this play is a natural cover four quarters one play touchdown cover four match one play touchdown to the exact same route by a mile as you can see we basically just hit a one play touchdown against everything so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense in a future video i typically like to try to put these full breakdown offenses out on like saturday and stuff like that because when people are typically home they have more time to watch longer videos uh, i can do that or if you just want to see more saints hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man Leash it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Thank you.